the magic porridge pot. Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl named Melody. She lived with her mother in a small cottage. They were very, very poor, but Melody tried to make her mother happy by singing songs to her. Every day, Melody used to go into the woods to find something to eat. She used to bring back whatever she could find, but their bellies were never full. One day, saddened with their poverty, Melody left the house and went into the woods looking for something to eat. No matter how hard she searched, there was nothing to be found. Finally, Melody could bear it no more. She sat on a rock and started to cry. While crying, she sang a sad song in her sweet, melodious voice. Hearing her voice, a forest fairy appeared in front of her and said, What happened, my child? Why are you crying? And what are you doing alone in the woods? I am here to find something to eat for me and my mother. We are very poor and very hungry, said Melody with grief on her face. Don't worry, the fairy said. And with her magical wand, she changed a pebble into a big magical pot. Melody was amazed to see the magic. Take this pot home, and your family shall never be hungry again. I don't want to be rude, but what good is an empty pot if there's no food in it to cook? Melody said in a disheartening voice, to which the fairy answered, This is a magical pot. When you want something to eat, say, Cook, pot, cook. And when it's ready, say, Stop, pot, stop. <sighs> Melody was delighted with the gift she got from the fairy. And, with due respect, she asked the fairy, Oh, dear fairy godmother, I don't have enough words to thank you. Please, tell me what I can do for you in return. I don't want anything in return. But if you want, you can sing me a beautiful song every day. Before Melody could ask any more questions, the forest fairy disappeared. When Melody arrived home with nothing but an empty pot, her mother was very unhappy and said, What use is the pot if you have nothing to cook in it? Melody lifted the pot to the table and simply said, Cook, pot, cook. Nothing happened. Melody looked worried, but then the pot started to shake and hissed. The steam rose and up bubbled the creamiest porridge they had ever seen. Melody's mother understood that the pot was magical. She was so hungry <laughs> that she could mm. not resist the creamy mm. porridge, oh, it's and delicious. she licked it with her finger. She was overwhelmed with the taste of the porridge so much that she did not pay attention to Melody's other command. Stop, pot, stop! They ate and ate until the pot was empty and their stomachs were full. Melody's mother rubbed her stomach happily. Melody then thought, Oh, it's time for me to go and sing a song for the forest fairy. So she left the house and went into the woods again. Here at home, <laughs> her mother was so happy Ta -ta. that they would never have to worry about the food again. She collected all the old pots in which she used to cook <laughs> and threw them away bye bye. to make space See for you the later. new one. Or not. She polished and patted the new pot. All this hard work made her hungry again. Cook, pot, cook. 
she commanded, and presto, from inside the pot, more delicious <laughs> porridge bubbled up. Not even bothering to get the bowl, she ate directly from the pot. Mmm, delicious! But as quickly as she ate, the pot kept filling up until it was set to bubble up right over the edge. Oh dear, how did Melody make the pot stop? Enough pot, enough! But the pot bubbled on. It's plenty pot, it's plenty! The porridge steamed over the edge onto the table. Really, that will do! The porridge pours over the floor. Melody's mother starts to panic. Cease! Uh, finish! No more! She commanded. Soon, she realized that she had made a great mistake and ran away. The porridge poured out from the doors and windows onto the streets, bubbling and forming a great wave and rolled through the village. People gathered up on their rooftops and started to call for help. Melody heard the villagers calling out in distress. She raced down the woods towards the village. She took a wooden plank and a stick and rode towards her house. When she reached just outside her house, she shouted, Stop, pot, stop! And that is just what the pot did. As the bubbling subsided, Melody saw that all the villagers were reaching down and lifting a handful of creamy porridge to their mouth. The whole village enjoyed the porridge. They ate and ate and ate the whole winter long. And no one in the village was hungry ever again. The End If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment!